a low so we're back in this time we have a nice laptop to repair you remember we had the one like this a few days ago so this is i5 cpu definitely has been open before check here you can see a long screw damage <laughs> remember the iphone 5 5s yeah the problem with this one the problem with this one it is coming on yeah only with the charger yeah it's not charging let's plug a charger quickly And that's the adapter. We have 19 volts, plug in the charge. Why is taking two amps? And the guilt, the voltage is getting dropped to 10 volts. Hmm? This is well known being a symptom of a shorted MOSFET. But when you plug a normal charger, yeah, when you have you when you plug a normal charger, you have unlimited current. Not unlimited. But let's say here I have like 2 amps current limit. If I move the current up to like 5 amps, plug in the charger, and everything seems to be fine, right? No, it's not, because the battery just got disconnected because of high current. Pressing the power button, the laptop it is coming on. And we have picture. Let me shut down the laptop. Yeah, so that's, the, that's how you can spot a shorter MOSFET before opening the laptop you can see now the laptop is not charging it's taking like 13 milliamps which is nothing let me quickly open the laptop remember we have exactly the same laptop a few days ago let me check uh this one hardware design bug you remember this one now on this one we had two power supply which uh, they were malfunctioned and the connection, yeah, with this uh, with this laptop, it's actually this laptop. You remember this uh, this video? You remember this video when I said I burned a chip during this repair and the chip died because not enough current? Exactly. And the people ask on the chat, but how a chip can do, can die from not enough current? Okay. And the people said, yeah, I got it. Okay, you don't have enough current. The voltage is getting dropped. But how the chip can get can die? And that's because the chip can malfunction. Like on this video, so on this video, it was an enable pin issue. So on the enable pin, we had like one volt, if you remember, uh, if you remember the video. And actually the chips, they were uh, supplying half voltage and they were getting a lot hotter compared with like actually when they were working. So that's the connection, yeah. And I seen different comments and said, sorry, but how this can happen? This is like digital. You have one and zero. It's working or it's not working. Well, I'm assuming that's because, uh, you know, they cut how many corners they can. I mean, yeah, you're right. That chip is not supposed to start. It's not supposed to be able to malfunction that chip by changing the enabled signal. So yeah, it's supposed to be one, one, or zero, zero. Anything between should be like, you know, the, the, that, that chip should not start. So the manufacturer of that chip, he assumes actually the chip, the enabled signal, it will be either one or zero. Then no point uh, investing in research what the chip it will do with one volt. <laughs> yeah, a good power supply chip, it will never... Uh, do something like that. It will be fully working or not working at all. Not like that with that one. So yeah, a lot of bad things can happen when a chip is malfunctioned because of not enough current and obviously not enough voltage or because you are playing with the enabled signal or something else. And how that can happen? Very simple. Because it's under the manufacturer specification like low voltage. Um, Basically, the chip can uh, start generating different um, wave shape of the of the of the switching signal, which means the chip still working, but not uh, not that great. And of course, you seen on that video actually the chip was getting hot. Both power supply chips, because of that one volt on the on the enabled signal. Anyway, the laptop is open. This is a classic fault, yeah? That MOSFET, and I'm pretty sure that's the problem. So you have the charging light, but it's not charging, it's not doing anything. 
So I'm going to unplug the charger and the battery. We're going to remove the M2 drive. And now let's go under the microscope and check that MOSFET. It's a common fault on these uh, Dina books. Yeah, so this is the MOSFET. Checking the MOSFET. Check that, check that, 1 ohm, you can see. Drained source, 0 0.9 ohms. So the MOSFET is shorted. And I know, I know, in a perfect world, these laptops should be recalled. I mean, we have like, if I check the channel, I have at least like 10 videos with same laptop having same fault. So yeah, it is a common fault. Because someone screwed it up, like the designer or this MOSFET manufacturer. Yeah, of course it will not be a recall, of course not. But now it will be normal. In a normal world, that's what should happen. So removing the MOSFET. Yeah, that's all what we have to do is to remove the MOSFET. It's a channel, uh, replace the MOSFET. It's a channel N MOSFET. And the MOSFET is removed. Now we need another MOSFET. And I have a board here. So here we have four MOSFETs. You can see this board has a power supply which is creating the main power L, which has four MOSFETs. So here we have four channel N MOSFETs. So all what we need is one MOSFET. Yeah, I have a bunch of boards for spares. And the MOSFET is out. Let me get this in focus. Perfect. I'm going to use Rosin because uh, I always joke, you know, Rosin is expensive and stuff like that. But the people got on serious and I seen some comments saying I'm greedy. So yeah, let's use Rosin from now on. And no more jokes, yeah? No, Rosin is not expensive. Rosin actually is cheap. It's a cheap flux, very good flux. Yeah. So the MOSFET it is solder. What do you think it will work or not? Huh? That's my question. Let's cool down the board. Great. Plug in the battery. Let's plug the charger. And we have the charger here, 19 volts, plug in the charger, 140 milliamps, which is the pre-charge current. Mm. Working, right? Yeah. Let me put back the empty drive. Uh, the charging current on this one is like 800 milliamps. And that's normal. So, uh, yeah, the pre-charge current, yeah, okay. Yeah, check that, check that, check that. 870 milliamps. Huh? So it's working fine. Let's press the power button. So pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. And we have picture. Huh? What do you think about that? And should be loading the windows. Yeah. It was a hard job? No, it's a common fault. A common fault. That's mean you can buy this laptop with this fault, saying no charging, and that's how you fix it. So if you see this laptop, eBay or whatever, and it's saying it's not charging, yeah, that's the problem. Okay, there is a picture. So it's not like uh, happens on some laptops. No, happens on every any laptop, this model. Sooner or later. Same like Lenovo. Well, Lenovo is failing MOSFETs. It will happen at some point. So by the curiosity, let me shut down the laptop and let's check the voltage on these two coils. You remember? The ones from that video. And yeah, the Windows is on and you have the charging sign there. So the laptop is shutting down. 
Let's see what voltage do we have with the laptop off. With the laptop no, uh, on, we know it's 5 volts and 3.3. .3. But let me see with the laptop off. So the laptop is off because, uh, because before the both power supplies were on. After I modify the circuit, it was only the 3.3 .3 on. The 5 volts was not on. So original is the 5 volts is on and the 3.3 .3 it's on. Yeah. After we fixed it, the 5 volts was not on anymore. But the 5 volts it is on to supply power to the USB. I'm assuming it's here. Yes, yeah, sleep and charge. Check that 5 volts. Yeah. So basically, when the laptop is off, you can plug your phone and still um, and charge your phone, even if the laptop is off. Of course, if you disable this power supply when the, the laptop is off, um, whatever you plug on the USB, it will not charge anymore. And if I remember, we checked the enable signal somewhere here. And it's 3.2, you can see, yeah. Uh, all good. So we fix it. It's charging fine with 800 milliamps. Have kind of like a short video, but yeah, just an update. I just short video. It's what day is today? It's Wednesday. And yeah, proper rainy outside, cold, and all that kind of stuff. It, it's about 10:30 in the morning, so I just want to wish you a beautiful day. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.